Are you there? Hello, everyone. Yo. Kelly <laughs> Hustle Calvin. What's up? Over what? here. How's it going? Ooh. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. So, we got all kinds of questions for Calvin tonight. We got a game to play with the chat and Calvin. He's playing the cost is correct. Got to look for what's higher and lower and what number looks better. All that fun <laughs> stuff. Let's go. I did First all one in the game when I played it. Just so you guys know. <laughs> First one in the Let's chat was Nikki T. She said she beat Cajun again, so she was happy about that. Nice. We got OBX picker Eric. Nikki said, "Long time no see." <laughs> ah, Nikki Frank T. Paul. The Hello. usuals. And this guy hopped in the chat. Hey yo! And then what we got up, Dan, the answer oh, man. Dan, what up? What's up, Dan? We got Scott Trash the Cast. And what the hails? Hello, beautiful people. What the hails? Golden Colorado representing Uncle B. Yeah, these guys got their hats on. I got Susie with her hat on back there because you know she wants to. <laughs> she, she wants to go see Jimmy, so she's got her no, hat on. Almost Susie got a fresh one. <laughs> City is, she's in the hat game. <laughs> yep. She says, I got my Subaru hat on. <laughs> <laughs> so. It does not like Jimmy. Susie is a scurry. <laughs> Calvin, how did you come up with your YouTube name? Man, you know what? I To be honest, is like, I just wanted to give it something. Because I, I really had no clue where I was going with YouTube. You know? Mm -hmm. um, and then I was like, I want to I want to have a reselling channel, but at the same time, it's like I don't want to have the name, uh, kind of just you know isolated to the reselling mm -hmm. uh, community. I think this is this is the hub for me, but I also want to venture out just in like entrepreneurship in general. So, yeah. um, you know, so that's why I kind of put just the Kelly Hustle because you know it's it's my last name. It's like family, so I could also incorporate family went into it as well. Mm -hmm. You know, just about my family's hustle, my wife, you know, kids, me doing baseball and all that stuff. Um, I don't want it to be so much family, though. It's I want it to be mostly reselling and then entrepreneurship, you know. So that's why that's why I named it Kelly Hustle and not like the Kelly Picker or like, you know, the yes. Garage Kelly or, you know, just something mm -hmm. like that. Just because I didn't want to be stuck in that box, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, and there's nothing wrong with it, but that's just that was my my thought process. Of right. creating the game, of creating the name. Uh -huh. He picked yeah. that name because he could do that intro song with it. That's why. Yeah, I was gonna hey, say, how know, did you come up with that? So, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to be honest, like, I, you know, the name was the name was before anything, and then once I thought thought of a name, I never even knew I would have an intro mm -hmm. because I didn't know nothing about creating content. But once you start creating it, and then you get in, in, involved in these different communities, mm -hmm. then. Um, then you then you see the game. You see how people create videos and mm -hmm. how you should create videos and intros. And, and so I was like, well, damn, everyone has an intro. I got to come up with an intro. So uh, my cousin back in San Diego, he's been doing music. We're like the same age. He's been doing music since we we're like, I don't know, ten years old, like mm -hmm. making music, creating music. Yeah. And um, he's not doing it as much nowadays, but he's more so trying to learn the business side of music. Mm -hmm. But he's also actively just trying to make like beats and instrumentals and stuff. So I was like, Cuzzo, I need your help. Right. Uh, create me an intro song. I was like, I need it to be like about on entrepreneurship and stuff like that. And yeah. then just un incorporate my last name in my channel. Yeah. And when he sent it back to me, like I had, <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be that. And yeah. I was like in love with it. I was like, I actually have a legit theme song. Like this is crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's still funny to me, you know. Yeah, it, it's, yeah. it's still funny to me. Like there, that's, everybody gets it stuck in their head. Anybody who hasn't seen your channel needs to go over. <laughs> you, I'm not even gonna lie. These two right here, both of them with their intro music, I go back and watch oh. it an extra time. They both, <laughs> like two, not even the top two favorite intro songs 
out of all the YouTubers I watch. I, I'll be on the Kimmy Yeah. Get stuck in your head. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm See, I think I think the visual I think my 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 visuals for my intro. I mean, now that's garbage. <laughs> so it kind of makes the it kind of makes my intro song feel a little bit more uh, like generic. But I don't know why. So I did I did it on my own. So that, you gotta imagine my editing back then compared to now is, is it still sucks, but it's a lot better. But at that point, like I was just like, all right, let me throw something together because I'm not I don't feel like paying fifty dollars on Fiverr. To get this done, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I got the system. Let me just throw some real quick together, make it simple, and then if I want to, kind of, you know, down the road, you know, yeah. put some a little more clean together, mm -hmm. then I will. But I think I could actually do it a lot better now, and I've considered it because I'm a lot better at editing. Now yeah. I'm not crazy. Like there's some crazy editors out there. Oh yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna name anybody. Off, you know, all these, all these, but off the top of my head. Um, Andy Sometta, yeah. his editing is crazy. Yeah. Um, uh, Sam's editing is awesome. Mm. And um, you know who else I've been noticing uh, with their edits I've been liking their last few videos is uh, Thrift Beast, Chris. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. His editing is, is, is nice too. So it, it, you know, it takes a lot of time to edit and editing I hate. So <laughs> I don't know if I ever get to that level, but you know, step it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Sure, man, you for know? sure. I know Jimmy was going to talk to you about hats, and then Blue Rats Pigger here said that he bought around 150 hats in the last three days. Thanks a lot, Calvin. Yeah, hey Anthony, man, I'm telling you, like, and and you know, I do, I will not take credit for none of this hat stuff. Like, I knew about hats, you know, even before I really got heavy into it. Mm -hmm. But you know, Cernok and Tim, like, those two right there really got me interested. Like, damn, like you could really make money off these hats and I'm in a prime market for like high value hats. And yeah, for sure. You mean to tell me, you mean to tell me I could find these hats that have really high value. They're easy to list. They're mm -hmm. easy to ship. They take no time and I can make mm -hmm. a lot of money, mm -hmm. man. I'm going to, I'm going to continue to be hot on the market for them. Like I've been looking Facebook, um, every garage. I went to a few garage sales today and they all suck. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got some footage of it too. Uh, so I'm trying to think of how I can incorporate that, but the garage sale sucks. So today was not good at all. I mean, I went to a church sale this morning mm -hmm. and, um, you know, at, started at 7am and mm -hmm. it just was not what I expected. Usually church sales are big and, and they're good. This one wasn't that big. It was by donation only. So mm -hmm. they didn't want any specific prices. So me and my buddy each made a pile. And, you know, he, he was just like, he was like, you got 10? Because I'm going to just offer them 20 for the whole, for the both piles. I was like, yeah, here, just take it. And um, so I got a, a few good things, you know, for 10 bucks. But mm -hmm. the rest of the, I went to like four more garage sales. And I actually had to drive about 38 minutes out. Mm -hmm. All trash. Mm -hmm. All trash. I'm highly disappointed. Yeah, I like what Chris said last week, how he said it's just luck sometimes. Like, you go to the sale and oh, you just sure. get lucky to find something. Oh, for sure. I mean, I've been getting lucky a lot lately. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, I've been I've been hot finding a lot of good stuff. So, um, you know, you kind of – and that's why, to be honest, that's why I haven't even walked foot into a, a, a Goodwill. Uh -huh. I, did one t I did one time since mm -hmm. it reopened back up. Mm -hmm. right. And um, – I had been killing it at garage sales and I walked into the good one. I was like, like, this doesn't even live up to what I'm finding at garage sales. Like, yeah, it's highly like, yeah. I got to get out of here. You know, I got to right. get yeah. out of here. Now, now I'm not, I'm not like bad talking their stores because mm -hmm. ultimately they're vital to me. Yeah. But the ones I have locally, like I have two of them. Mm -hmm. About 15 minutes away, I probably got a third, but. You know, just for right now, I'm just taking advantage of garage sales because yeah. I could just get more bang for my buck. Mm -hmm. Way better Definitely. deals. Right. Like, I, you know, I've been doing this for two years. I know you guys have been doing this for a while as well. And that's the thing. Like, I always, like, get – I don't even get worried because I know, like, I find – I always find that – I always find something. Like, it, it, even if you have a dry spot, like you said today, it wasn't the greatest. You're going to find that big hitter. I call him big hitter. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. you're gonna find it. Like you're gonna, it's gonna eventually happen. It always does. Like it hasn't failed yet. Until you know, until I go, literally, until I go a couple months without finding something 
good, then I'll worry. But like, yeah, I, it's a couple days. It seems like you know between finding them. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing about it is, my um, my father in law, he texted me today, and I'm not, you know, it just made me feel good, just because like, I know I've been working, and that, and that's the main thing is like, there's other pickers around here, there's other resellers around my area. Yeah. And I know I'm, you know, I know I'm going to miss out on some things because I have a competition. Mm -hmm. But he was like, yeah, he was like, you know, the uh, American pickers are from Iowa. Maybe one day you can get to their level. And I was like, I don't even know if I want to get to that level. But I'll tell you this right now. I'm going to try to outwork every other reseller in my in my area. So mm -hmm. on Thursdays, I'm out. I'm taking my kids. We're out there, you know, mm -hmm. from 7 a.m. until noon. And they, mm -hmm. it gets they get antsy. And, you know, I feel bad sometimes. But. At least they're outdoors. My son's just gonna be in the house playing Fort Fortnite anyways. Yep. If we're not playing, if we're not at baseball practice or a game, so I was like, you know, just step out the step out of the house, and you guys know we're gonna go hit some garage sales and mm -hmm. and get over it. So, well, but yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna just try to outwork every other reseller in my area. That's that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna run into luck. The more you do it, the more opportunity you give yourself to run into luck. And that's just the yeah. bottom bottom line. Now you yeah. don't want to overdo it and not list. Like you got to be actively listing too, because yeah. mm -hmm. then it just turns into, you know, wasted money. But yeah. you know, you you so you got to list, of course. But yeah, the more the more you're out there, the more the more stuff you're gonna find. Straight, mm -hmm. straight I simple. Like a, a football game where like you can be in the you can be in the in the locker room, you know, hyping up the players and having a pep yeah. talk. But you still get out there and play the game. Like you can exactly. talk about it and hype it up and go out there and, and and hype up the you know get the team all ready to play. But if they don't go out there and, and actually play the game, you can't yeah. win. So you yeah. have to list. You got to list. Go out there and play the game. You got to list. And one thing, and, and to be honest, like one thing I'm working on right now, and it's it's tough because I've never been an organized person, mm -hmm. and even till now I'm not organized. So that's one thing I gotta fix big time is I got to get a lot more organized. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, you know what, you know, even though I know I got to get more organized, I'm doing this for a full time living and I'm not making, you know, all these thousands of dollars that I know I could be making if I was still doing sales. Like I was uh, a sales rep at Verizon making pretty decent money. And, um, but you know what, I'm enjoying this a lot more, more than I ever was having another job. And so, you know, it's, I have no excuse not not to list, and that and that's the main thing. But being more organized would help out. But my main concern right now is just bringing in money. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can figure out all the organizational stuff, and as long as you know, I'm not again. I haven't messed up an order. I haven't sent the wrong thing. I haven't had a miss inventory. Now, you know, I still got a ways to grow. But um, again, I you know, that's that's just my thoughts on that part. How many active listings do you have? Uh, right now, I'm at. Gosh, uh, three, three fifty two, mm -hmm. and and I'm at like three seventy four sold. So my um, sell through rate is over a hundred percent, which is where I want it to be. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, like I'm not. I think five hundred is my is my tipping point. Like I don't mm -hmm. want to go over five hundred listings. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have four hundred listings and seven hundred sold. And there's people that do that out there. So mm -hmm. you know, a, a lot of listings. That's just another business model, and it, and it works for some people too. But you know, for me and how I would like to uh, do my sales, you know, probably my favorite reseller in YouTube community, and the person that like when I go to garage sales, I have I feel like you know he he's there because that's how I kind of got my swag mm -hmm. as far as garage selling is uh, Cincinnati Picker. Like mm -hmm. he he made me step my game up a whole nother level just by watching him. I didn't mm -hmm. have to ask any questions. I didn't have to do anything. But mm -hmm. just hours of watching the Cincinnati picker go to a garage sale and pick. When I finally got the opportunity to do that, his videos were embedded in my brain. So yeah. I had an idea of what things were good and what things weren't good. And, of course, I was new, so I'm taking chances, and I had some duds. But over time, you just become a lot more lethal. you mm -hmm. know. And then getting actually involved in the community – Mm -hmm. Now you just feel like you're Rambo when you're walking anywhere yeah. you go. You know, <laughs> garage sales, estate sales, fish stores. I mean, wherever you go to look for items, you feel like you're unstoppable. Yeah. And that that could be, you know, it could be an issue, too, because you don't want to just loosely throw money out there just because your swag is at an all-time high. Yeah. You're like, eh, 
you're getting cocky with it now and spending money that you regret spending. Like I just recently bought a little over, I want to say like close to 200 decoy ducks. Mm -hmm. And I got a great deal on them. And I know I'll make money off them. But when I got them in my car, I was like, why in the world did I buy these? <laughs> mm -hmm. And they've been sitting in my garage for about maybe going on a month. Mm -hmm. I have no clue what to do with them. So be cautious too. Mm -hmm. Don't get too confident because my then you start getting a little loose. My favorite flip of yours was that uh, Wii game system. I Which one? Like, the, the brand new one? Yeah, in the box. Yeah, that was, and that was a big deal for me because um, it was the most I had spent on any one item. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I paid $150 for that and a PlayStation, original PlayStation, with a couple of games. Mm hmm. And that was at the height of the pandemic when mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. uh, Nintendo Wii's were like gold. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I hit while it was hot. And mm -hmm. yeah, 150 turned into 450. Mm -hmm. That was nice, you know. Yeah. Again, was it was the most I had spent on one item. Mm -hmm. And I was a little nervous about it. But mm -hmm. when I looked at the comps, I was like, you trust the comps with anything else. Yeah. Put your big boy pants on. Continue to believe in those comps. Mm -hmm. And have confidence in, in in your in your knowledge and, and how you kind of analyze the comps and pull the damn trigger. And yeah. I pulled it and it was instantly like listed it 30 minutes later. Somebody shot me an offer, I countered, and it was done. Yeah, yeah. All in one day. Yeah, when I seen your uh, I think it was your Instagram post because we were talking in the chat one night about it because you were like, Nobody's paid yet, but I'm waiting on it. Yeah. And then when they paid, I was like, Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that was a little nerve wracking because you don't, yeah. you know, not because the, the the reason why it was nerve wracking for me and I was I was more so annoyed because I didn't want somebody to just not buy it yep. and then just have it sitting when mm -hmm. I know someone else was going to buy it, especially yeah. if it was hot because I didn't know at that time, you never know what the market was going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, the market on that thing, they could have announced two days later the mm -hmm. lockdown was over. You know, everyone's going to be excited. Game's going to plummet. So yeah. I wanted to get it, and I want to get it, and I wanted to move it fast and be done with it. Right. Yep. Yeah, I want to talk, because Nikki T brought up the, the unicorn that you found, NCAA 14. Yeah. Um, I want to talk a little bit about that moment in the video when you found it. And now, First of all, let's talk about some selling at its peak. Like, right now, that game is peaking for sure. Yeah. Uh, but I want to talk about the moment when you found that game. Like, I, could, I saw into your thought process. Like, <laughs> You're like, boom, this is 150 right here. I'm buying all the games. Mm -hmm. Like Once you oh, saw yeah. that game, you're like, okay, money's here. The rest is all profit, so I'm buying everything. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Is that what went through your head in that moment? A absolutely, because, again, since I had started, so I'm a little over a year and a half now. Um, but since I had started, like that was the game mm -hmm. I picked up on real quick that was valuable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so... I can never find it, never find it, never find it. If it was there, you know, somebody selling it real quick or, you know, just whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, and so I was like, uh, it's, I'm just never going to find it. I'm, it's going to be the <laughs> one thing that I never find. Well. And I walked up to this garage sale and I didn't even, I wasn't even going to go to this garage sale. Mm -hmm. I was literally getting ready to go home. And I, as I came to the, to the uh, four way stop, of course I see the sign and I see the garage right there. I was like, all right, pull over. Let me go in. So I go in. I started walking up the driveway. And, you know, you kind of got the junk boxes at the beginning of the driveway, mm -hmm. you know. And I was staring at this cowboy hat. And I was like, uh, probably 20, 30 bucks. And going over it and started, like, examining that and looking at all the cash. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to deal with that. So I walk in. I see a first set of games. And the first set of games, I don't know why. They were just PS3 and, and some Xbox One games. But they were charging, like, four or five dollars and they were kind of common game nothing highly valuable at all mm -hmm. so i'm like damn i'm not even going to attempt to make a deal on those because there's situations where i mean and don't take my advice because no matter what you feel in your head if they if you think that these people aren't going to budge on their price get that out of your brain always ask mm -hmm. always ask mm -hmm. but i chickened out in this first set and i just i didn't ask <laughs> but they weren't highly valuable so i was like whatever yep. mm -hmm. go to the next set of games and I seen like NCAA 2012. 
I was like, all right, let me go through. Second game, pulled it. And I was like, heart was racing. And so I was like, all right, I know I can get this game. And on those games, she had one or two dollars. I was like, I can just get this game by itself and I would be happy. Mm-hmm. But like, let me see what I can do. Let me try to see what I can get. So I counted up all the games and I had $30 left in my pocket from from after spending at the other garage sales that day. So at $30, I was like, well, there's nothing I could do. She has to take this. So I was like, you know, <laughs> would you take $30 for all these 45 games? It's like, at that point, it's like, the worst she's going to do is say no. Yeah. You know, you got you to gotta ask because you could yeah. be costing yourself money. You're mm-hmm. costing yourself profit. This mm-hmm. is a business. Worst case scenario, they say no. You say, mm-hmm. okay, well, then what do we take? So always ask, you know, because you never know. You, you're you just going to get crazy deals that mm-hmm. you would like. You'd be surprised. I was yeah. watching a couple weeks back. I was watching Lonnie. It was, you know, Shed Flips. And mm-hmm. he went to a garage sale. And I don't know if you guys watched, watched this. But kind of go back and watch this part. He went to a garage sale. And he's seen a bunch of like, I don't know if it was Avon makeup. Or it was a bunch of makeup. Yeah. And he asked the person, how much would you take for all this? And they said 50. And when he reacted to them saying 50, I knew in his head he was expecting uh, them to say a lot more. Mm-hmm. And so when I got that, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those things. So just, just always, always ask, you know, mm-hmm. always ask. Never be afraid. Yep. Yeah. I've seen a couple of people jump in. I want to say hi to Brittany and Kat and Harry. Cat. Yeah, and we got Josh in here. What's up, Josh? Harry, 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 Josh, what's up, bro? Yeah, but yeah, I I love seeing you flip those games and the <laughs> um the Wii is like, man, those are some good ones. Like, yeah, it's funny because early on, I've actually bought that and sold that game five times between Xbox 360 and PS3. And like, look, I found it crazy. I found I found it in Facebook Marketplace bundles where they didn't know. Yeah, you know, I got the whole bundle for forty bucks, and there's that game in there. So that game pays for it. See oh, you yeah. again. So I'm gonna tell you that my new my new uh Grail game is Futurama. Have you seen that game? No. Futurama for the PlayStation Two mm-hmm. or the original Xbox. Look at comps on that and. I'll challenge you. Like that's my new like. So I've I found NCAA fourteen. So now that's my new yeah like, rail. You know, impossible to find game. And I mm-hmm. I've been scouring for it, man. And I haven't found it yet. So yeah, remember that yeah, name? Man. You remember the old TV show Futurama? The cartoon? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Futurama. You said Futurama for PS two and Xbox. Yeah, and it's valuable. Like last yeah. time I checked, it was a hundred bucks at least. Nice. It might be more now. See, that's the thing. Like you, the more you do this, the more sales you make. In certain categories, then you just become that much more knowledgeable because they help, and then it helps you like streamline the process when you go into garage sale. Mm-hmm. You can really know what you're looking for initially. Mm-hmm. You always keep your head on the swivel, but yeah, I mean, you see a pile of games, you go through the games, you're like, okay, that one's fifty bucks, that one's mm-hmm. twenty-five bucks, you know, mm-hmm. and, and and like that. So it's just it, learning different categories, and then once you learn a category, if you strike it hot in that category, like with games. It was a rat, cause yeah. I caught a I caught a string of hot games from one guy, mm-hmm. and it was just it kind of catapulted what I was doing in games. So and then now it's hats. Like I have so many hats worth so many million, or not million. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I got so many hats worth tons of money right now. It's yep. crazy. It's crazy. I seen you picking up some glass too. I was like, oh look at Calvin. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to stretch out in 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 that category a little bit. I'm. I'm uh, trying to be cautious because I don't want to have a lot of glass around because yeah. I know it's valuable. So I'm, I am trying to limit the pieces I get. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, yeah, you know, just trying to step out and have a few other items in my, you know, in my store that mm-hmm. can touch a, another category. You know, I'd say, yeah. you know, it wouldn't ever be, you know, maybe if it was like, 10, 15 percent of my and of the items in my store, I think that's a solid number. Right. I would never mm-hmm. want to be beyond that at all. If Damn. I could say, if I could say a majority of what I would want in my store right now is, it would be, if I had two choices, it'd be games and hats. That's my that's damn it. saying. You're the million dollar hat club, Bala. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's very hats. 
hats are very lucrative is mm -hmm. what I've come to learn. Mm -hmm. and, and, then, and then everything that goes into, again, I'm going to repeat it, shipping and, and, and packing. It's like mm -hmm. easy, easy. Yeah, it's easy on both sides. Pictures are easy. Listings are Everything. easy. Everything. Shipping is easy, yeah. Everything I, about I, hats is awesome. I need to try some of the other sites. Like, you know, I, 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 know, I knew about hats, and I knew, like, the trucker hats were good. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have the best success on eBay. Is it maybe I need to – is it because I need to go out further than eBay? Is that why? I, I mean, so here's the thing. So it depends – to me, and I'm only on eBay platform, so I don't sell on any other platform, and, and I know I need to, mm -hmm. um, which, again, kind of kind of goes with the whole organization, being yeah. organized type of thing, because mm -hmm. I feel like I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be in over my head. You know, I know what I'm doing right now, and, you know, I'm trying to be self-aware enough to know that, you know, okay, ease into it, mm -hmm. you know, because I know myself. So um, I'm only on eBay right now, but I do want to get on grilled like as soon as possible mm -hmm. um and list my hats on grilled mm -hmm. and maybe any like vintage clothes i find right. and then and then i want to do macari macari i want to do games yeah and you know maybe hats and clothes as well and then ebay i want everything else right mm -hmm. i want ebay to have you know my hats and clothes as well but I want to have other niches for specific things. So if something mm -hmm. sells on there, I know what it's, I know what's sold. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a hat. I know I got to mm -hmm. get ready to list a hat or on this site. Even I've even been interested in doing um, Etsy for glass because I know mm -hmm. that's a, you know, a good place for glass. So mm -hmm. right, right. even having an Etsy account, <clears throat> if something sold on Etsy, I know it's a glass. So I got to prepare mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's hard to, you know, it's not hard, but, trying to keep up with just the one platform mm -hmm. at the pace I'm trying to get to, I yeah. think right now is enough for me, but I, I am going to get on grilled. It's probably, gonna, I have a Macari with two items listed. That's it. But I think I'm going to be a lot more active on grilled just because of the, the yeah, niche of hats. That I'm, too. Like I got, you yeah. Know, now that I got a little stack of hats, you know, between the two buys I made and I, there's interest on them, but you know, I only sold one of them so far. I haven't mm -hmm. priced high though. Like you said, I'm starting off high to see what happens. Mm -hmm. I I, th I think that we got, don't we have do we have a game to play, Aaron? I don't we to, do have we a game hat, to play. We could talk hats and what Calvin's doing on his <laughs> store all day, but I want to see the game. I want to see how he does on the game because I struggle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll what start this game, up? and I wanted to say happy belated birthday to Gary because it looks like he recently had a birthday. So I got a little sound effects. Let's see if it works. I'll probably get reverb here. But uh <laughs> Price is right, yeah. Love that show. Yep, so uh we're gonna play cost correct here. And uh we want Calvin to come on down. Oh my screen went from sharing yeah, to not sharing. You're no more. Here we go. Come on down. All right, come on down, Calvin. <laughs> so, Calvin, we got a Luigi Mansion Dark Moon 3DS cartridge only game. What do you think this sold for? And uh, these numbers are just thrown in there. They're not anything yeah. special. Um, and I want the chat to also answer what they think. Went uh, 13. You think thirteen? Yeah. You're, you're you're going the same with the other lady. Is that allowed, Jimmy? Is that allowed? Thirteen oh one. Oh wait, 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 wait! Time out. No, 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 time out. Okay, I'm tripping. So I'm I'm thinking I had to choose one of those numbers. No, no I said for, those numbers yeah. don't mean anything. Okay, you gotta think gotcha. What you actually sold, what it actually sold? For. Gotcha. That now makes more sense. Okay. Um, I'd say uh, mansion uh twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. I'm gonna put it in the chat so I don't forget because I forget everything. And I see Dan says thirty nine. Debbie's got seventy five. I don't see any other numbers coming in. Now the dark mansion might is dark mansion is throwing me off. I know Louise's mansion. So I don't know if it's the same thing. So I was gonna go back so you could see it again, but there we go. Yeah, dark. Yeah, dark moon. See, I. 
I can't recall just by uh, knowing, you know, that game. I yeah. can't recall if I uh, even pay attention to the Dark Moon part. So I don't know if there's a different like version of it. But I'm mm -hmm. sticking with twenty four ninety nine. I mean, that's 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 my answer. That's your answer. All right, yeah. Jimmy. Do you see any more coming in the chat? I don't. All right. Well, we'll move on then. And it sold for eleven dollars. So mm. now what do we do? You didn't get it. Did not get it. See, I, <laughs> I, uh, I second guess myself. Yeah. <laughs> Big time. So who? Oh, he still gets to play coin drop. Cool. Yeah, he still gets to play coin drop because you know. Yes. Ah. It is here about Calvin. So Calvin, on this one, we need to know if it. Do you think the price is four or zero? So it could be like ten dollars or twenty dollars, or it could be four and seven or four and eight. Oh, so which one okay. do you get rid of? Gotcha. Which one needs to go? Which okay. one do you think is the number to stay? To stay, yeah. Um, what's the chat thing too? Um, so this is a lot of vintage Barney yeah. supplies from 1992. Yeah, I mean, they definitely have some value. I would definitely pick them up. Hello, I could, Marie. You know, I'd say, yes, I'd say you dropped the four. Drop the four? You yeah. think it's, keep the zero? Yeah, keep the zero. All right. Well, it's, it's, we're really going to test her uh, skills at making this game right here. Yeah, watch out let's, now. Let's see what happens when she clicks the next button. Yeah, let's see if I can click the right button. No assistance here. This is what happens when you, uh, <laughs> you don't, you don't uh, have a... Uh... Oh! So it was 45, so you don't get I mean, the yeah. on that one. See, I wasn't far. I was thinking more like 30, 35. Yeah. It's definitely it's definitely a pickup, though. I feel like if I've seen those at a... Right? You know, somewhere, I'm picking those up all day. Hey, Cam, right. anything Barney, like Barney DVDs, Barney VHS, like Barney, Barney's, Barney solid. Yeah. So um, Jimmy, I know, picked up some... Vintage pull-ups that were weren't they Barney on them or something like that or no cars? Yeah, cars. And uh, I can't list them. Barney, let me list them. Yeah. So our next one up here is uh, Boyd's Bears Cola Coca-Cola Soda Fountain Plush Set, new with tags. Boyd so, Bears. So do you think it's the fifteen or the ninety-nine this time? In the chat, go ahead and answer what you guys think. Uh Gosh. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely cool. All right, it's Coca-Cola. Yeah. Old, old soda fountain. Yeah, but I'm going to drop, I'm going to, um, I'm going to drop the 99 though. You're dropping the 99, huh? Yeah. I just don't, I, the, Key word I'm kind of looking for is vintage. So sometimes those can, those can be like um, like remakes of it. Uh -huh. And sometimes, a lot of those times, those things don't have the value. But I could be wrong. So the chat is answering. We got Marie answering 99 too. She's going with you. Drop it. Drop the 99. Drop it's gonna be the like, 99, huh? He's like, I don't know now. <laughs> <laughs> so, you did not get the coin on this one either. What? Because it was thirty three ninety nine. Wow. So if you so if you had dropped the fifteen, then mm. you would get the coin. See, you know what? Gosh, I <laughs> I did bad at this game too. <laughs> That was terrible. <laughs> He's like, that's it. I'm not playing no more. <laughs> End this you know, game. I, I uh Whoop. I'm I was thinking in a in a different way. Damn it. <laughs> All right, we're not doing the coin drop now. <laughs> Hello, Shasha. Thank you for joining us. So next item up for bid. We got 
is a hat. Okay, Calvin, I've got confidence oh, yeah. in you here. Yeah, I should be able to get that one. This is an M State visor. Yep. So what do you think the price is on this? Uh, gosh, I mean, $19.99? $19.99. What does the chat think? What does the chat think? Nineteen ninety nine. I'm gonna put that in there, so I don't forget I mean, that. I don't. I don't think it was vintage. Like Jimmy said, I think there was an Adidas on there. A little bit more value. I could potentially, potentially twenty five. I think going anything over twenty five for a visor is pushing it. But there could be some like vintage visors that you know definitely are out there for sure. They guess the same. <laughs> who? Uh, I don't know who is guessing the same. Dan saying seven ninety nine. <laughs> Possible though. It's sold for fifteen. Calvin, yeah. come on now. He's <laughs> pretty close. Yeah. He was pretty close. So I'd say he's closer than anybody that put their numbers in. So yeah. we're gonna play I mean, self checkout here. As you know, there's been less checkers lately. So coming down your conveyor belt here is box number one. This is a three vintage Halloween Pez lot. Dr. Mm -hmm. Skull, Witch, and Pumpkin. So on these, I want you to guess if box number one, two, or three is um, the most expensive. How much did it sell for? So we got box number two is star violation lp final record mm -hmm. um that's box number two in the chat go ahead and answer two we got box number three pj mask these are n n what is that jimmy ninjaro <laughs> a lot of three. Ninja, ninja, ninja ninja linos ninja linos glitter night ninjas i mean i don't really i wouldn't have i wouldn't think those have the value i don't know anything about the records so that's a category that I have no clue about is records. Like I'm lost. Like I don't even look at them. Um, yeah. PJ Mass. I mean, man, I, I I wouldn't think. I mean that that show is kind of new. I wouldn't think it's old enough to have any crazy value. So I'm gonna go with the first box. So first box was the vintage Pez Halloween. Yeah. And then we got vinyl records and PJ Mass. So Marie is going with three. I haven't seen anybody else in the chat. I think they're all sleeping tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going on to which one sold for the highest? PJ Masks for $24.99. And Marie's telling you, PJ Masks is not new. <laughs> <laughs> That's like three years. So Four years? I don't know. How old is PJ Masks? That record sold for six ninety nine plus shipping. Yeah, the Pez that. sold for eight dollars yeah, yeah, yeah. plus shipping, and PJ Mass sold for twenty four ninety nine. <laughs> All right, Calvin, that. you get to go on a spin. Spin it. <laughs> hundred. Land on a hundred. Here we go. We're gonna spin it. Whoa! Oh wait, I think we got some noise on this one too. Uh -oh. <laughs> Every time you do the noise, it takes the, your screen down. What? Yep. That's it. Talk. I'm talking to StreamYard. <laughs> Here, I'll do this. I'll click, 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 for Calvin. Oh, see, I think it's when I take my headphones out. I don't like when I mess with my headphones. Ah, here you go. Hundred? Hundred a dollar? Yeah. Wait, what? So, <laughs> How did I end up? Calvin, you're on to the showcase. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need a car, a trip. I look confused. <laughs> a boat. So your showcase is YouTube. And everybody in the chat that is not already in my mods, please drop Kelly Hustle channel. Yeah. I've got it in the description. We're gonna get him to that 600. Gotta and 
You need to go over and smash that bell and smash yes. that subscribe button. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy, why do you look so confused in that picture? <laughs> so, I know Jimmy wants to ask you, he got a really cool jersey at a... Yeah, I seen the Jordan, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't even know how to go grab it real quick. Hold on. Yeah, man. The Wizards. Yeah. It's a, the Washington Wizards jersey, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's... Yeah, see, that's fresh. Yeah, see, you know what? If I if I found that, if I came across that, I'd probably keep it. Like, <laughs> you couldn't sell it, huh? <laughs> no, it's stitched in. It's not like it's not printed on. It's the yeah, it's the stitch. It's Nike. I know. I know. Champion. Fire. What's um? What's the comps on that? Like about a hundred bucks, maybe. Yeah. So like. Uh, there's enough, so there's different levels, right? So like yeah. the printed on one isn't worth that nearly. This one looks like it's about a hundred. Yeah. But there's another one that's like the official whatever. Yep. That's worth like 200, 250. Yeah, Nike. I mean, Nike's good, but yeah, I, I figured it because there's one more. What is, what's the what's the other brand that that would do the jersey? I don't know, but yeah, I, I figured that'd be like a hundred dollars right there. As far as Vince but, jersey's champion for some reason, is yeah. Like, yeah, I would see. I would keep that. That thing is fresh. I would keep yeah. it if it fit me, but <laughs> a little bit, a little, but probably two of them stitched together. <laughs> see, I couldn't even. I I couldn't even wear that right now though, because I have like the worst farmer's tan in the world right now. <laughs> like, if I lift my sleeves up, it's like it looks just. It looks. I think we every time you buy it a doesn't look good at hat, all. it just that, automatically turns. Yeah, it just, the it's, it automatically just doesn't work for every farmer hat that you buy. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Is no, that it's... from living in Iowa? <laughs> uh, well, I think it's just being out, like, you know, with coaching and being out, out there for hours upon hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, wearing a sh regular sleeve shirt. Yep. Like, I just, I'm brown. I get brown. <laughs> <laughs> It's Jurassic yeah. too because you know we're cooped in during winter time, Iowa. Is. Mm -hmm. You know, so we we love our spring and summers, man. It's like we we take advantage of it because we're yeah. locked we're locked in for like four months. Yeah, get out. Yeah, hey, gotta get out. Yeah, I mean, I, I, oh sorry, go ahead. Aaron. I visited Des Moines, Iowa, one time, and all I remember is cornfields. <laughs> I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, pretty much you can't go, you can't travel like more than ten minutes without seeing a cornfield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like you're you're gonna run into a cornfield. Mm -hmm. We're in the middle of, we're, I was in the middle of corn, literally. Yep, yep. That's all I remember about is corn, you're corn, corn. In the winter, and you're just daydreaming about spring and summer, and you're daydreaming about yard sales. Yeah, man. <laughs> Especially Honestly, this time. Did you ever think mm -hmm. that'd be part of your life, Calvin? Like I know sometimes I'm like, did I ever think I'd be daydreaming about going to yard sales and <laughs> Never. Yeah. Never. I yeah. never imagined it. Never mm -hmm. imagined it, man. Mm -hmm. Never imagined it. But there's the yeah, I mean and this is my second season of garage sales. So again, I mean just it's a lot more I know a lot more and a lot more lethal. So it's it's I mean, you make more money and it's a lot more fun. Mm-hmm. Cool. I uh I uh, agree with uh, Marie here. I don't miss Seattle because that nine months out of the year raining. You actually know a tourist when you see somebody with an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Justin says you have to look for McDonald's in the cornfields. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're surrounded. We're surrounded by cornfields. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Yeah. You got to know your directions or you're lost. Oh, like a, I can, it's like a big corn maze. I could not imagine not having GPS. Mm -hmm. It'd be crazy. It'd be mm -hmm. crazy. All right. We recently took a road trip with the family to Texas. Mm -hmm. And my mom and dad were with us. And they've got like their atlas out. And they're like looking at the map. And I'm like on GPS on my phone. And I'm like, what are you looking for? <laughs> and like 10 minutes later, he's like, oh, we're in this town. I'm like, yeah, we already passed that. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> that is crazy. I'm, yeah. a, I'm 
I remember I had a job uh, when I was, I was like nineteen twenty, and I was a parts delivery driver for uh, El Cajon Ford. Mm-hmm. And that was one of the best jobs I ever had. But um, <clears throat> it was just fun, and I got to be on my own. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember when I was working there, we didn't have GPS, you know, back mm-hmm. then. We were using the the app, like the map, the Thomas yeah. guide. Yeah. And um, so, I mean, you kind of learn it, especially if you're on like a a specific route, you go kind of like these same uh, stores and deliver parts all day long. Like you get the hang of it and addresses and stuff, but man, yeah, I couldn't imagine having, not having GPS in Iowa. You get yeah. lost. Yeah. <laughs> like you said, end up in a cornfield somewhere. And a cornfield. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble if I talk about what Dan's talking about right here. <laughs> but uh, every, there's been a couple of times we, we drive up to Dan's house and if you miss the exit on the highway, it's five miles to the next exit. Oh. And let's just say my wife driving along, not looking at the GPS on the car, right past the exit. It's, it's like two miles. It's, how far is it, man? You miss that exit, going, it might be five miles, and you have to go all the way north. And then, like, she, she goes to yard sales with me. And I, I navigate and she drives. It's her car, so she drives. I navigate. I get the next sale ready. You know, I'm looking up on crazy. Yeah. And I'll put it on the GPS on the screen. And she's just on a Sunday drive. She's like, yeah. She doesn't pay attention to it at all. I'm like, so one she's time. Like, like, when I'm Jimmy just, doesn't know, we're not going. I'm just going to see where she takes us if I don't say anything. Because I have to be like, your right is coming up soon. Yeah. One time I was like, we'll just see. I'm not going to say anything. Like I'm just and we were just, we for ten minutes. She's and she's just playing her music. And, she just gets in her groove, huh? Oh no, wait, wait, goes. where are we going? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. he took us like eight miles out of the way, just going down the street straight. Hey, hey, do you guys do you guys have garage sales on Sundays? Like, do, are there a lot of them? Not there's not, not there's always a lot of them. Area. I mean, every day. I'd say there's more on Friday and Saturday though. For yeah. sure. But there's always some on Sunday too. Yeah. Yeah. See, in Iowa, like, and I, I don't know if it's like this in uh, Colorado, but uh, in Iowa, like, car dealerships aren't open on Sundays. Yeah. And just come coming from San Diego, like, car dealerships are open seven days a week. But San Diego is yeah. a lot bigger of a city. But the state of Iowa doesn't allow car We're sales to be open. On here. Well, I'm gonna show you the map. Like our map is this is a typical weekend, and I. Actually, Mm-hmm. map here in the Denver metro like it's crazy no yeah. if you zoom in like you can get out here I... <laughs> Calvin's like I'm done so there's bro. no way I can make it to all those sales right like it's impossible that, <clears throat> that's insane though yeah and then, and we're and it's actually it's usually more because of the, because of what's going on in the world there's a little bit less than normal dude um Oh, that's if cool. I li- things, huh? if, if, yeah. if, if I literally open up my app right now, you'll see two garage sales. <laughs> Calvin's like, I'm having one and the neighbor down the street. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> like, like, that's what makes, and that's, you know, there's, there's some, there's some like when you're um, looking, they're listed, and then you'll see some when you're out and about. But man, I wish I had like my map loaded up like that. That would be crazy. About two hours, I would have. I have to go like two hours north or two hours south to have some sort of like map like that, and that's either in like Des Moines area or like Minneapolis. Right. Yeah. But here, no. A lot of them put their. They still advertise on. Well, I think. Uh, I think your art sale treasure map actually links to the local newspapers. I know they do Craigslist for sure, right? Craigslist. But, but a lot of garage sales are linked to the local newspaper around here. Like you go on the website, yeah, and it's the Globe Gazette around here, mm-hmm. and you just type in a uh, yard sales Mason City, and Globe Gazette pops up. We only got two on there right now, but Our, so Hopefully. between between the map and Facebook Marketplace, um, you know, people posting on there, yeah, there's even more. So like, that's what I was gonna ask you, what's do you guys have a local Facebook marketplace like uh, yard sale? You know, yeah. we have the, my city has a yard sale where you can mm-hmm. on Facebook marketplace. Yeah, for sure. Um, Facebook is 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 fire for finding garage sales too. Right. The reason uh, yard sale treasure maps 
is only limited to like I know for sure Craigslist. They pull all their data from Craigslist, mm -hmm. and I want to say um, local newspapers too. Facebook uh, or Yard Sale Treasure Map doesn't pull data from Facebook. They right. can't. So if they did, I would I know I would have a lot more because yeah, definitely I do look for garage sales on Facebook, and that's how I found a majority of them today. Mm -hmm. um, but just in, in regards to yard sale treasure map, no, they it's a it's a different thing. I wish I had that though. Well, that's what I was gonna say because in the Denver area, Facebook Marketplace is winning that battle. Like as far really? as really the marketplace, like Craigslist is way down here. Yeah. Facebook Marketplace is where it's at. Like that's oh, where yeah. I find most of my deals and find you know and I find a lot of extra yard sales on there. Yep. Yeah, Craigslist around here sucks. Yeah, it, it really it's, does. It's, it's okay in Denver, but Facebook Marketplace is winning for sure. Jimmy, right I heard a rumor that you came to the Springs to get that Jordan jersey. What? <laughs> you stay in your territory. <laughs> no way. You stay, you stay up there. You take an, you take an Aaron I was in stuff. Lafayette. Oh. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm nice just try checking. There, Aaron. Nice try. <laughs> I need to come down to the Springs, though. Yeah, we need to do a collab. Yes. Hey, Jimmy, how, how many – um, well, how many uh, garage sales do you and Aaron – What's do you that? guys start hitting garage sales on Thursdays? Yeah, I went today. I hit two today. Yeah? I, How about you? Yeah, I typically do just because I load up the little guy and go. Yeah. Yeah, and then heck yeah. um, usually a lot of the estate sales are on Thursday, so you can get in there and get like stuff that you know what you're looking for, like that. Yeah. Uh, I can't even think of the game right now. It's that pig game that I bought. That was one that I seen on an estate sale, and I was like, I have to go there and get that. I already <laughs> seen it was like two bucks in the – Heck you know, yeah. add, and then I got there, and they're like, "Oh, it's fifty percent off today." And I was like, "Sweet." Mm. Do you so, do okay. a lot of estate sales, Calvin? Um, I've only came across Did like you get these hats, man. That's... Yeah, no, I've only came across like, to be honest, not too many like formal estate sales. A mm. lot of them, a lot of the estate sales I've come across like, the family's doing it, so it's a mm. little bit more open pricing, mm -hmm. and, and like even at a. You know, Those even at a, a even at like a company ran estate sale, there's you can still get some deals, but right. you know, I, I think I've maybe gone to like two of those. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's you know, I just don't see those. But I see the family ran estate sales, and those are always awesome. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've uh definitely, it's a close second to yard sales as far as some of the stuff I found. You know, and flip from I found that Jordan jersey at an estate yeah. sale. See, you know what I mean. I know they're 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 kind of different to me though. I I I, I bundle estate sales and yeah. like garage sales into the same one because to me it's about the deal. I, I know I can get great items for great deals at, at either one of them. Yeah, but like you said here, there's a couple companies that I have X off. Yeah, see that's different. Yeah, I won't even go to that sale. I know. <laughs> so when I'm going through because I go to estatesales.net. Yeah. Um, and if I see a certain company, I'm like, can't go. Like I already mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their eBay prices are better. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but that saves you though because now, like for instance, I drove had to drive like thirty five minutes out, right. back and forth twice today for two sets of garage sales. Ones that started in the morning, and mm -hmm. then ones that started at five p.m. Mm -hmm. Um, and off all, all of them were just like duds, you know. Mm -hmm. But if I if if you know it's something like an estate sale where you know if a company is running them. Well, you like well, I I don't have to take waste my time and take that trip. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure, you know. But yeah, and then you know, estate sales usually have at least the ones that I'm go to. I usually look at the pictures too, like get an idea. Like if yeah. I'm going to drive far, I have an idea what they have. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. That's why I think um, that's why I think it's tough on, with the online auctions. Yeah, uh, I mean you you're still gonna get quality stuff on there, but mm -hmm. for me. Just not being able to actually like go and check the items out, I'm always a little hesitant on like the online auctions. Mm -hmm. right. Now, if it's something that's just like simple, you know, it doesn't need a lot of photos. Like if mm -hmm. I've seen hats on the online auction, I mean that's easy. There's mm -hmm. not too much to examine. I mean, no. I, I kind of know if something's vintage at this point. And, um, you know, certain models or certain company, you know, type of hats I want to look for. But yeah, online auctions are tricky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've only done a couple and, and I haven't won any. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I've only yeah I've done a few. I've, I've won a couple of times, but nothing like crazy, crazy. Right. I don't think mm -hmm. I've ever spent like more than a hundred bucks on online auctions. 
You know, it's just not yeah. – it's good, but it's just not – this. To me, there's a lot of competition on the online auctions. Yeah, that, I was just going to say, there's, I think there's definitely more eyes on it, at yeah. least at, throughout a spread out course of time. If you get to an estate sale and you're the first one there, yeah, you know, boom, if, if it's priced right, it's yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, I just, I, I prefer being able to look at the items and, you know, know what I'm mm -hmm. buying. I, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll throw in an online auction, you know, for sure. I'll throw in an mm -hmm. auction and there's some good stuff you can snag for sure, mm -hmm. but. You know, I'd rather I'd rather be there like in real yeah. life. Yeah. yeah, it's more of a rush, right? Yeah. Oh, that's 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 the fun of it. Yeah. Is actually being there and Dude. picking up the items and looking. It's the treasure like, hunt. I know your heart was racing when you found that game. Like your heart, you could have probably seen it pounding through your chest when you found Jeez. that game. Yeah, man. I was like in my head as soon as I seen, it, I was like. I was like, all right, I, I cannot believe I fi finally found this damn game. I was like, um, I'm trying to just play it like really low key so I don't get too excited. I, really wanted, mm -hmm. I guess. And then, yeah. And then at the same time, I was like, all right, well, since I'm getting this game, I know I'm getting this game. Kind of like you stated, said earlier, like, I know what the value was. So let me just try to make a deal on the rest of the games because yep. mm -hmm. there's no way I'm losing, yep, you know. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, he was even looking to see if there was any more. He's like, "Nope, that's all I got." And she's like, "Oh, yeah. I guess so." Exactly. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm still trying to backlog. Uh, you know, some of the hats that I'm trying to get listed. So mm -hmm. I haven't even touched the other games in that on, from that day. Mm -hmm. That was last. That was last Friday is when I got those games. Mm -hmm. So I've only listed three games from the forty-five that I got. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, and I've already, you know, already. Made my money with that one mm -hmm. sale, yeah. Mm -hmm. Having game knowledge is huge. Though. Like today, For I went sure. to a yard sale and they had an Xbox 360 with like five games mm -hmm. and the wires, and they were asking sixty. And some people would have bought that, and that's fine. I passed on it because the games were not good. I mean, they were four or five dollar games. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't want my profit to be if if your profit is just in the games. Yeah. I want there to be a twenty thirty dollar game couple of them in there before yeah. I buy. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. there a little bit of money on that Xbox 360? Maybe. Not a mm -hmm. lot after shipping and fees. There's not a lot at 60. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I even kind of broke that down in the video I made where I was like, you know, I would have bought it, but mm -hmm. those games were like, you know, Battlefield and, you know, games yeah. are, you know, they're not worth more than $10 each. There's no way. So mm -hmm. having yeah, that, exactly. me knowing that those games weren't valuable mm -hmm. kept me from buying that deal and saved me money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, it's always, you know, there's always, the numbers have to make sense. I mean, there's certain items that you just can be like, man, I'm just getting so many of them mm -hmm. for a certain price. I'm not going to say no. Mm -hmm. um, but there's like, for instance, at the height of the virus or whatever you want to call it, a few months back, it feels like, man, we've all, <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> about this community because we've all kind of gone through this whole weird time together. Right. Yeah. You know? And so it, sure. it seems like it's been so long. Yeah. It seems like it's been yeah. so long. But it really hasn't. You know, it's been like three months or, or so. Mm -hmm. um, but I know I had made a couple of Facebook Marketplace deals earlier in some of my earlier videos. Mm -hmm. And I bought DVDs. And mm -hmm. I was like, that just wasn't a good buy. You know, mm -hmm. It was a great deal because I got a lot of them for a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. But those are really long tail. I didn't do the research on them mm -hmm. before I bought them. I just knew mm -hmm. the numbers were there. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a big risk. I'm just going to pull the trigger and mm -hmm. they'll sell over time. But now it's just more so you look at it as it's taking up space now, mm -hmm. you know? So a lot of, you know, and, and you learn from them. You know, I learned from that, that I will never buy pre-owned DVDs again. Mm -hmm. uh, that was just a mistake. So have you, know, you, have you looked into selling them as a lot? I mean, stuff like that. I'll be like, okay, I'm just going to make, take, I'm going to stack them up, take a picture. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Sell it as a lot. You know, yeah. you know, now you've decided it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's what I started doing with some of the VHS. Right. Because mm -hmm. I was lotting up, like, I had a bunch of, like, Disney VHS. Mm -hmm. And I was, I, I think I sold a couple lots for, like, $10 mm -hmm. right? of, like, 10 or, like, $15 for, like, 10 uh, mm -hmm. VHS. Mm -hmm. And that's, you, that's how you got to get. You got to get creative, like, mm -hmm. with certain games. I'll have to lot, like, five games up at a time, you know, mm -hmm. to, to do those games. But, you know, they'll, They'll be easy listers and solid, you know, solid sellers when you actually lot them up. 
Mm -hmm. I love like lining all the first person shooters. Yeah. And then yep. lining up all the younger kid games. That's oh yeah. 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 Because it just makes sense. It's an easy list, you know, and then mm -hmm. you get that bundle going, people you get them out the door easier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we're going to get ready to end it here because i got to get that little one off to bed. And I yes. uh, appreciate you coming in and Absolutely. chatting with us. I know you got your family to get to, too, Calvin and Jimmy. <laughs> what? So, I'm, locked <laughs> <in>. <laughs> I'm locked in the basement. I can't come out. So, yeah, everyone, thank you for joining us. Everybody that looks at this in the future, go over and subscribe to the Kelly Hustle. You guys will yeah. get addicted to a song. Let's do it. And... Uh, <laughs> You won't be regretting that decision. Trust me. Oh, appreciate All it. All right. Bye now, everyone. Peace.